Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondon and I'm the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Union, Seven Keys to a Healthy Twin Flame Journey. And believe it or not, it's already here. My new book, The Empowered Divine Feminine, Becoming an Unstoppable Woman in the 21st Century and Beyond is now out on Amazon. It's available on Kindle, hardback or hardcover and paperback and soon on Audible. So please do check that book out. It really will help you if you are a divine feminine twin flame or if you're just a woman in general. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do tarot readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame romance, general readings, life path and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondantauthor.com. Welcome to Twin Flame Guidance, where I guide you on a twin flame topic. Today's topic is why being goal oriented on your twin flame journey may not be beneficial for you. In fact, it might be even harmful for you to be goal oriented on your twin flame journey. So if you're interested in that topic, please do stay tuned. I'm a twin flame, you guys. In case you haven't noticed in the past five years, I'm a twin flame. I've been posting videos on twin flames since February of 2019. I met my twin flame in September of 2018. And no, contrary to popular belief, I have not abandoned my twin flame journey. It's so odd. Sometimes I see in the comments, like, who are you to speak about twin flames? You abandoned the journey. No, I have not abandoned the journey. <laughs> if you guys um, have seen most of my recent videos in the past year or so, you will know that I have chosen to live in the present moment, which means I choose to live my life to the fullest. And when you have reached a part in your healing of your twin flame journey, when you have moved through the stages and steps, when you've moved through the seven keys of a healthy twin flame journey, when you've moved through all of this, there is no other option but to live in the present moment. And that is what I'm doing, living in the present moment. And in fact, that's a great lesson for life. But let's talk about being goal oriented on your twin flame journey. And I really want to urge you guys to think about this. And I know some of you are brand new to the twin flame journey and being goal oriented or thinking about union or reunion with your twin flame is all you ever think about. It is like the one pointed direct attention that is in your mind, body, soul, thoughts, everything, even in your dreams, right? <laughs> it's everywhere. The one pointed goal attention is reunion with my twin flame, reunion with my twin flame, reunion with my twin flame. And that becomes the obsession. That becomes the fixation. And even newer twin flames that come to my channel, the first question they ask me in the comments is, are you in reunion with your twin flame? It's almost like they can't believe me as a twin flame unless I'm in reunion with my twin flame or anybody else for that matter. And I'm here to tell you that that thought pattern, that thought process is harmful. I'm all about goals, believe me. I'm a very goal oriented person. I set my goals, I shoot for the stars and I obtain my goals. That is the kind of person that I am. I believe in the power of manifestation. I believe in the power of positive thinking, the power of affirmations and visualizations and doing vision boards. I believe in all of that. And my life has unfolded in incredible ways because of this belief system. However, the twin flame journey is just that. It is a journey. It is a journey to be revered. It is a journey to be followed. It is a journey to take step by step and not rush toward the goal. Now, one important 
thing that I want all of you who are watching this to keep in mind is that you cannot rush something like a life series of lessons. You can't push an outcome that's not ready to be an outcome. And your outcome is not failed if you are not dead. I'm gonna repeat that, please listen to this. Your outcome is not failed if you're not dead. So if you're still living and you are still breathing and you are still listening, <laughs> It's not a failed outcome, guys. I think that's where so many people get this misconception that I am a failure on the twin flame journey or other people are a failure on the twin flame journey because they haven't gotten to their goal. They haven't gotten to this goal outcome of physical reunion with their twin flame. Nothing could be further from the truth, right? If you're still living and breathing, you do not have a failed outcome, okay? So I don't know how many years I have ahead of me. I don't know how many days I have ahead of me, but as long as I'm alive, living and breathing, I do not have a failed outcome, <laughs> a failed goal on my twin flame journey. Now, let me tell you why it can be harmful to you or even dangerous to you to try to precipitate an outcome instead of taking the process of the twin flame journey. It can be dangerous because we, as twin flames, are transmuting and transforming big energies, big energies, energies that are bigger than us as individuals. Now, in my new book, The Empowered Divine Feminine, Becoming an Unstoppable Woman in the 21st Century and Beyond, I go deeply into these big energies, notably the masculine and the feminine, the patriarchy, right? Everything that we have lived up until present. And I really dive in this book into these big energies and what is being transmuted and transformed. Now let's suppose, because I know a lot of you like to put things into boxes or categories, everything can be black or white or it can be gray, right? But a lot of people want to put things into black and white boxes. Life is not black and white, guys. There are many shades of gray in life. There are many shades of gray to human beings as well and experiences. So a lot of people jump the gun and they attribute labels to their twin flame divine masculine. They attribute these labels, narcissist, abusive, whatever. Now your twin flame may very well be abusive. Your twin flame very well may be a narcissist. I think that term, as you well know if you watch me, that term is so overused. It's really way overused. It's much more used than necessary. What I like to say is that people are stuck in ego-based consciousness and that's it. We're human, right? We're human. We identify with our egos because that's what we're taught. That's how we self-identify. It's just that when you're too far with your ego, meaning you think the ego is the only part of you, that's when it gets problematic. And I do write about that in all of my books as well. Here's the problem. This is why it's harmful or dangerous to wish for or to only seek the goal of twin flame union or twin flame reunion in the 3D at all costs and consider anybody who is not there a failure. It's dangerous because we are transmuting bigger energies, energies that are bigger than us, and many Twin Flame Divine Masculines come disguised as being very egocentric, as having addictions and problems and abusive patterns and behaviors, egocentric patterns and behaviors, um, being jealous, possessive, being um, down in the dumps, being self-blaming, being in shame and guilt. And if you try to precipitate <laughs> an outcome, right? If you try to precipitate and just think like goal-oriented union with my twin flame is the only thing that ever matters, you are going to find yourself in union with someone who is still displaying all of these qualities of, as you say, not me, narcissism, abuse, addiction, all of those things. So what you're wishing for is a physical reunion with someone who isn't truly ready to be in an unconditionally loving relationship. 
And so my question to you is, if you were to get into reunion with your twin flame today or tomorrow, what would that look like? It's like, okay, you get to your goal, right? Let's just suppose you get to your goal. You got to your goal. Your twin flame is now here, present, in real life, with you, dedicated to you. You guys are in a relationship. And now what? Is everything gonna be resolved? Is everything gonna be beautiful? Is everything gonna be peachy keen? What if your twin flame really is addicted to drugs or alcohol? Do you really, really believe in your heart of hearts that an instantaneous physical reunion is going to resolve those problems? Or if your divine masculine twin flame has heavy narcissistic tendencies and everything they do is all about them and their pleasure and their advancement, do you really believe in your heart of hearts that if you were in physical reunion today that all of that would be resolved just because you're twin flames? It's delusional to want to think that instantaneous reunion with your twin flame is going to resolve the real world problems of the individual. It is foolish to believe that because the reason why we are on this twin flame journey is because it's a journey, right? This book, Twin Flame Romance, right? The journey to unconditional love, the journey. It doesn't say we are automatically beings of unconditional love. We have a piece of unconditional love within us, right? We have a piece of God spirit source within us. Each and every person does. The breath of life is spirit within us, but it is overshadowed, overshadowed by the ego, the personality, our thoughts, our past, our emotions, all of that. And when we have this delusional thinking that as soon as I get into reunion with my twin flame, I get to my goal, I have my goal, everything's gonna be hunky-dory, peachy keen, you are deluded. And if there are people that are telling you that, they are delusional as well, because that is not the way life works. That is not the way things work. It is preferable for your mental health, your sanity, and your sense of balance if you are a divine feminine, especially if you're a divine feminine, it is better for you to embrace the journey as it is unfolding. The goal can be in mind, right? Your goal can be in mind. Your end goal can be in mind but wanting it precipitously or in advance of when it's ready or considering yourself a failure or others a failure if the goal is not already here when it comes to the twin flame union goal is wrong. It's just a wrong way of thinking because you may be creating more problems for yourself and for your twin flame if you try to either manifest or push or make it happen so that you are in reunion much, 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 much quicker. Pushing it is not gonna work. You could do a hundred million thousand manifestation videos and affirmations and vision boards but if it's not ready, it's not ready. There is a phrase in Christianity that says, God's delays are not God's denials. And I don't know, that, I don't know who that was made up by, but it's true. God's delays are not God's denials. And you have to believe that. God's delays are not God's denials. And it means that the delay is for your own good. The delay is for your own good. Because I know for certain that unless my twin flame divine masculine gets hit by a lightning strike, which is possible. And when I say lightning strike, I kind of mean like a spiritual lightning strike, you know, like the apostle Paul that was Saul that 
was struck off his horse and hit his head and he woke up and had this epiphany. Unless that happened to my divine masculine, I know for a certain fact that my divine masculine twin flame is not ready. And I know he's not ready because his attitude showed me this. Most recently, his attitude, the way he talked, the way he went about conversations. And in addition to that, his higher self told me he is not ready. So it would be foolish of me to try to precipitate a reunion with a person who is not ready for an unconditionally loving relationship. That would be foolish because then that energy would pull me down into the lower energy where he is at. Be careful with who you listen to. Be careful with your thought process. Be careful because if you are not living in the present moment, and I know this journey is gonna take you through stages and steps, no matter what, whether you like it or not, it's going to take you through stages and steps. It's going to. Now, in my first two Twin Flame books, I go through all these stages and steps and how we tend, and everybody's different, right? But how we tend to move through these. There is some kind of crazy pattern, right? Some people might go from step one to step three or step one to step three and back to step one, right? Or the first key. It's just, it goes back and forth sometimes, but there's a certain pattern of how we're moving through this twin flame journey and you can't rush it. And you can't try to get to the goal first and skip all the steps because you will find yourself. I mean, you can, sure you can. Sure, 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 right? Manifestation does work. I believe in manifestation. It does work and you can connect with your twin flames higher self and you can do alignment and you can, you know, bring the threads together. I don't know, there's some crazy stuff out there. You can certainly try and do that. Of course you can. But is it in your best and highest good to do that? And is it in your twin flames best and highest good to do that? That is the question you need to ask yourself. Because when you get to your goal, it's like, now what? Now what? Right? Now what? Now what? Really, when you get to your goal, now what? How do you think your life is going to be when you get to your goal? Do you really believe it's gonna be like a fairy tale? Do you really believe it's gonna be like all the problems are gone in your life and in your twin flame's life? Do you really believe that's what it's gonna look like? Because while you are spiritual beings having a human experience, you're still human beings. And humans have issues and problems and obstacles. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's just life. So if you are envisioning this perfect utopian life with your twin flame, again, there is a delusion there. And relationships take a ton of work all the time, right? There are some easy days. You can even have easy weeks. But as you grow in a relationship with another person, there are always growing pains, always. So if you are rushing to get to the outcome, if you're rushing to get to the end, ask yourself now, what does that end look like? If my twin flame were here with me today full time, what would that actually look like? What are my expectations of what that might look like? Are your expectations of what that might look like realistic? Because if you believe for a second that you can only be happy when your twin flame is with you in the 3D, that means you are not ready to be with your twin flame in the, in the 3D because the happiness has to come from within. Think about this. Think about the process. Think about enjoyment of each step, enjoyment of the process understand more than ever that this is a journey. It's not an outcome. It is a journey. The outcome with physical reunion very well may come. Again, if you're living and breathing, 
you still don't have a failed outcome, right? <laughs> not until you're six feet under or incinerated or however you choose to exit this physical life. If you're living and breathing, it's still a possibility. You are not a failure, okay? But do think about how you wish to go through the twin flame journey. Are you gonna go through it in misery because you haven't gone to your outcome? Or are you gonna go through your twin flame journey in joy, living in the present moment because it's a gift that's been given to you? you get to decide. Remember, you get to decide. So I hope this was helpful, Twin Flame. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other Twin Flames. And thank you so much for your support on my YouTube channel. You can buy one of my 11 published books. I can't believe I get to say 11 now. You can join a Twin Flame boot camp, one or two which takes you through the twin flame journey step by step and allows you to journal your process through it. So if you are interested in process, click below. You can start on demand one of my twin flame boot camps. I also do group coaching and I will see you in the next video.